it's an all natural uh, background. I'm in my trailer right now. <laughs> so cool. Well, uh, welcome everybody. You are on the ripple effect with Dave and, and myself, Erica Gimbel, David Kirsten and Eric Gimbel ripple effect. We've been doing this for almost two years now, right? These podcasts, weekly podcasts where we interview each other and amazing uh, guests coming on our show. We have Gail not with us today. And before we get to hear from Gail, let's check in with my esteemed co-host, David Kirsten of Wide Angle Media. How are you, David? I'm good. I'm I'm excited. I've been went for a run this morning, and I've I've realized something. I've done a couple new things here. Um, one is I heard on one of my a favorite podcasts of mine um, to don't eat after six. I know Corey did that, and I don't always do that. But if I can not eat after six, like five or six days a week, that makes a huge difference. And then I've noticed with this running and getting in better cardio shape, I'm still at the very beginning, but it's actually made me stronger, like 25% stronger in my strength training, which I was weird because my endurance is so much better. So I'm like throwing up weights. And I'm like, I can do like, fifty, you know, almost like 50% more in reps, but I don't know, 20 to 30% more. But um, I, I appreciate that you are going running. I just went running today for like not even a mile. It's my first day out with my sneakers on doing that. And um, the pool is closed. My swim team pool is closed this week. They're under repair. And it was just like, oh yeah, a whole nother way of doing movement. It was, it was a beautiful experience. Great. And then I have kind of been really writing the equivalent of a book, although it's going to be a program. I'm not going to put it out as a book. I'm going to put it out as modules for the rising star program, the collaboration with Gail and Corey Knott, and um, to really um, curate content with Lyft, uh, you know, help entrepreneurs. It's really aimed at like the 20 to 40 year olds to take their business to the next level, or maybe it's start a business, or maybe it's to jumpstart whatever they're doing now. So um, I'm hoping to have that done by June one. So it reminds wow. me of when I was writing my senior thesis in college where every day I just try to write some, you know, so. Cool, David. Well, and with let's that, yeah. turn our attention over to our featured speaker guest today, Gail Knott. It's been a long time coming to have you on our Ripple Effect and welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. You have the most unique background ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm in our our little uh, travel trailer. It's our home office for now <laughs> until it's until we move to a bigger place. But for now, it's a home office and it works out great. Yeah, it's super hip. And <laughs> I like how it's just sort of um, it makes your eyes go right to your face. You know, <laughs> really cool. So, yeah, so Gail, I should say it's just a Zoom background. It's just a Zoom background. Not real. <laughs> So we want to hear you. We want to hear your story. We talk to us. Tell us about. Tell many people might be tuning in, not know you. I know you many years now, as my almost uh, my recently not in my neighborhood neighborhood friend I and know. colleague yeah. and comrade. You've been my coach. <laughs> You've been David's coach. You, you created this amazing thing called Lyft. So talk to us. Tell us and our our audience about yourself. Sure. I'm a business coach. I'm married to Corey, who hosts Quantum Leap with David, which is just before this show. And we've been married for almost 16 years. We have a, a youngin. We have an almost three-year-old named Kaden, and she's a doll. Uh, I also am a stepmom, and Cody is he just turned 30, which is so crazy. So Corey has a 30 year old and a three year, almost three year old. <laughs> Decades yeah. between yeah. two. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. I bet they have a very interesting bond, special bond. Yeah. So I've, I've been self-employed my, almost my whole life, whole adult life. Uh, I, I like to say that I'm a horrible employee because I like to do what I want to do. And if I am going to do something for someone else, I want to know why. And unfortunately, 
not all managers or business owners want to take the time to explain why something's important to them, to their business, or they may not necessarily know why they're even having you do the work in the first place. So um, I like context. I like information. I like autonomy and being a business owner just fit me better. <laughs> Great. And most recently, tell us about what you're doing most recently. Like as in for travel or for for our Lyft. business for Lyft. Is, tell us about Lyft, this amazing platform you. Okay. Two yeah. So I I can go back a little bit when we first started coaching, um, being business coaches. We already were consultants. Uh, I've been a, a marketing consultant for over twenty years. Corey's been a technology and operations consultant for thirty years. And we had business coaches and our business coach invited us to open a branch of her business in Oakland, which is why we moved to Oakland. So we worked for them for about six or seven years. And again, I prefer autonomy, autonomy. I prefer choice. I wanted more freedom in how we ran our business and it just felt better or it felt more right <laughs> to start our own coaching business. So we did that. We started Take Wing Coaching um, just before we had Caden. So it's been around for about four years. And I wanted more flexibility in our lives. With the other coaching business, they ran things a certain way. And it, it works really well, especially when you're an in-person type, type business, which I know a lot of it has changed the last couple of years. But right. they ran it the way where you would hold a workshop a free or a low cost two hour workshop. In the workshop, you would upsell to a, a program. And then within that program, you could upsell to private coaching or to a year long program and so on. So I, it's a great format and it works really well, but within that format, you had to be in person. And even our subject matter, what we specialized in was in-person networking. And that didn't fit the life that I wanted. I wanted to travel more. I wanted to live in our RV. We used to have a bigger RV than this. But I wanted to travel the country and live in our RV. So we designed our coaching business so that it was more portable. It was online. And we focused more on group programs so that we could help more people. And, and we can also have a little bit more flexibility in our schedule. And because we did it online, we used Zoom before Zoom was cool. <laughs> we're able to help people wherever we were as long as we had a good internet signal. And thanks to wireless technology, cell phone technology, we could, um, we could, as long as we had a cell signal, we could technically be online. There's more nuance to that. So we changed our business so that we could be online. So we started out with group programs, which you and David and uh, were part of our original flight plan program, which yeah. is, it's called a cohort course, because there was a curriculum, but we did it together as a group. And we provided live coaching and consulting as a group to go together. So that was wonderful. And I wanted to to even have more flexibility and also have more accessibility because I believe that business coaching and consulting is so important for a, a small business owner's success. Yet, if you were to hire a private coach, it could be unaccessible to a lot of small business owners and new business owners because of the cost and the, the investment. So what if we can come up with a program where business owners could get business coaching and consulting and mentoring on a continual basis and make it, it, make it accessible and affordable. And that's how we came up with LIFT, where LIFT stands for Learning, Inspiration, Freedom, and Transformation. And we mm -hmm. have our own online community. We have our own little app. And whenever someone has a question, they can post in there. We respond. We also have live office hours, what we call it, but live coaching hours where people can come in, ask questions, we answer. We do once a month workshops. And we're also building new things. We just started an accountability program because sometimes it helps to practice what we're committing to and to actually follow through with that commitment. And also to analyze if, if something did not 
go through his plan. Why not? And not in a way of being defensive around it or having to explain yourself, but more to talk it out with yourself of like, oh, I thought I could get this done today. I didn't take into account this in my life. So now I know next time I will make a better plan to, to work around that situation. So it, we just started it last month and it's been going really well. Um, so the accountability program started last month. And then this month we're starting our collaboration circles. Wow. So offering new things that is accessible. It's um, for, for all small business owners to be able to challenge themselves that we provide in the coaching realm, but also provide 20, 30 years of business experience so we can mentor and consult people as they grow their business too. Yeah, and I'll just give a quick testimony. I'll know Eric, I'm, I'm interested in Erica's thoughts too, but you know, we're, we're, it's a little bit like Shark Tank, that show, and that if you have an idea for your business, but we also don't know how to do it, then you can go to Gail and Corey Knott and they'll tell you how to do it. Um, <laughs> so you can show up in their online office hours. All, all you have to do is join Lyft for five bucks and um, you can, uh, you know, to really make things work, we have to, we have to learn how to do it ourselves. We can't have somebody else build our business for us. It just doesn't work like that as much as we would like that to be the case sometimes. Right. And um, right. you guys, yeah, unless have... you want a franchise maybe, but <laughs> if we're building our own thing, it's creating, creating our own systems. And, and what I love about what we do is yes, we have the business consulting experience. We've got the advice, but as coaches, we're also holding space so that you come up with your way and we will support you in your way. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I really love it. I love being able to support more business owners this way. And I think it all comes down to what inspired us to do this in the first place was really designing a business that fit the life that we want to live. So knowing your vision for your life and how you want to spend your days, because how you spend your day is how you live your life. So how do you want to spend that day? That's how you can live your life. And yeah. then you build the business around that. I, what I really, what I really um, want to acknowledge you and your partner for Corey is that dreaming into existence, what you want to create. And if, if someone who is tuning into our pad, podcast today or, or later, you know, is brand new to your solopreneur entrepreneur business, this is a way to mastermind, to troubleshoot, to be supported. There's so much isolation that's, that goes on, especially during this time right. even that we're coming out of the pandemic, maybe sort of you know, the world events. Um, it's so great to, to get support and be get a get a group to go what do you think about this well have you thought about that and you you two really offer that and I have felt supported out of my overwhelm so now I'm really in action and I I have studied with you and Corey when you were in that old model right and coming into the new model with um take wing what was it called the lift flight plan flight plan program yeah flight plan was our course we're still yeah our course. yeah and then and then i mean this the lift model this website you have to take a look at this so we want to make sure that people uh checking out this podcast know how to come play with you and sure. and so, so let people know how they can, um, whatever your offer is right now, make mm -hmm. sure to say it and we'll put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's, it's so cool mm -hmm. and it's so low drama. And I feel like I'm underutilizing your amazing platform. So I got to get on there and share about our <laughs> upcoming summit on your oh, platform. Oh yes, please and, do. You know, we, we, it's, I don't understand the magic that went behind how you created what you created, but I have a <laughs> Uh, Corey was a part of that because he's super IT guy. Um, so, so, so tell us, how can we find you if you're new to Gail Knott? Sure. I'm um, at Gail Knott, uh, G-A-I-L-N-O-T-T on all the platforms. Um, Instagram is probably the one I use the most. So feel free to DM me, happy to connect there. If you want to try Lyft, you're welcome to try it. It's only $5 for the first month at takewingcoaching.com slash Lyft. 
And I'm very excited to be one of your speakers for the International Women's Summit next week. And I'm going to be speaking on message, money, and mompreneurship. I know it's a lot to pack in my little talk, but I just want to go over how you can really develop your voice to attract your ideal clients, some ideas for business models. And I actually, I shared two of them today, but I'll share the third one on my talk on the summit next week. And then still finding time for self-care, family, and friends. So it's, it's that balance between what we want to create in our life, but also just enjoying life and, and just being grateful for, for being here and for, for everything that's available to us. So um, yeah, I would love it if, uh, if you want to come check out LIF, join us now, and then also join us for the summit next week. And yeah. I'll just say there's a, a I want Erica to tell us more about the summit in a second, but I'll just say that Lyft has this unique feature. You can join for $5 and then you can sync your calendar with all the Lyft events. So I can see, oh, there's a Lyft office hours coming up at 2.30 or Lyft is doing this seminar. And, you know, I've attended a number of those in the past. I'm kind of developing my program. Then we'll use that as, as I need to, but it's, it's, I, I think Corey and great, Gail's greatest strength, I would say, in all that they do is their ability to quickly assess where they're at and how they can get you through whatever barriers in your way. So if you come in with a problem or an issue, they can assess it and say, why don't you try this? And it's just like this gives you these aha moments <laughs> and you can just keep coming back for that, that coaching. In lift, yeah. Yeah, indeed. And I, Gail, you at one point recently you asked me like what it was about you and your coaching style. And I texted you these adjectives and I was kind of having a full up day. So I didn't get to tell you about it. Um, but I, I don't know if you were able to utilize some of those adjectives and what you were creating. But one of them I think was generous and patient, because I am so super slow in my in some of my businesses. And um, and I just really I just want to appreciate you for how you and Corey have given to me. And, um, you know, so anybody tuning in, definitely reach out to Gail Knott and find out about all the great things you do and how you serve. Thank you. And thank you so much for, for being part of that little exercise. I'm actually in training because Corey and I believe in lifelong learning. And me every couple of years, we, we add on another certification, add on to our tool belt, and I am being, I am in a training to become a, a certified professional diversity coach because I want to build even more inclusive coaching communities mm. and strengthen my skills so that I can coach people who are different from me, who have different backgrounds, who have different beliefs. Mm. One of our core values is that we have respect and compassion for our community so hold, we're, I'm a big believer in holding that space. So I want to hold this sacred space for people to be who they are. And, and what's wonderful is we only attract purpose-driven people anyway. So, <laughs> so we may not completely agree, but we're still all in alignment with our values. So I think that's important as we build communities. We, we build community for people where we're in alignment with, with values. And yeah, I'm strengthening my my coaching skills and that exercise that you helped me with helped me see if I am living my core values. Like I may say I'm for this, but am I really doing it? And can you as a friend and as a, a client, can you see that as well? So that was a great exercise. And I appreciate that you took part of that with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed to hear more about it. Like, cause I see it's, it's, it's an impactful thing that you're working through so yeah uh, i will put the link to lift and or you can access it through her website and i'll put the link to the website in the chat and also to the the women's summit how to sign up for that um to hear gail not there talk and i was i've been i was listening to this book tribal leadership on tape today and i really see why you know lift is such a diamond in the rough and that it says that um you know, less than 25% of organizations or businesses are at that stage of where Lyft is at this kind of community driven purpose entrepreneurs, and they have this whole model that it goes into, but I see how unique 
it is to be a purpose-driven entrepreneur and to find a community of purpose-driven entrepreneurs because most people are stuck in the lower stages as, you know, I'm great. And it's just this ultra competitiveness where you're not purpose driven, you're just driven by these other yeah. motives, which, which is fine, you know, they're not doing anything illegal, but your life is so much better and everybody's lives is so much better if we kind of learn to kind of connect as a community and have mm -hmm. our business not only benefit us, but also benefit, you know, the greater good, so to speak. Yeah. Oh, I can go on a whole nother tangent about the patriarchal <laughs> systems we have in our society of like us versus them and the competition and, you know, <laughs> the hustle culture and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it, the last few years especially has given us the opportunity to really dissect that and to say, you know, that doesn't really work for us. It might well, I, I was about to say might has worked worked for us before. I don't know. I could argue it didn't really work for us. Um, a lot of people were hurt with that kind of mentality, and I think we hurt ourselves if we have that kind of us versus them mentality as well. I mean, it's kind of going on in our world right now. So it's it's being purpose driven, being compassionate, being respectful, being open, believing in abundance that there's plenty for all. It's, it's just a much better world to live in. And also it, it feels more peaceful in business too. Mm, like win-win. How yeah. can you win-win? Yeah. It's a big yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 So, Erica, so what, can you tell us a little bit more about the, the summit here and what you're speaking on? Well, yes, I can. And or I maybe also we... want to thank you, David, for asking me, <laughs> You know, a couple of months ago, David just in the, his sweet, nonchalant way, David said, Erica, you want to make a summit happen? And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's where the idea started. And then I was um, listening to some music and um, trying to think about what the theme was, because my virtual assistant was like, you need a theme. <laughs> and then I was listening to this music. Um, uh, I was listening to this music and this song just popped up and it was um, the Brandy, Brandy Carlisle and Alicia Keys song called A Beautiful Noise. And then I was like, oh, you know, so it, it was kind of like, that's it. That's it. Let's make some noise. Women getting loud and supporting each other to do so and getting their message out or figuring out, do I even have a message and all that. So for the newbie all the way to the experienced loud and proud speaker, everybody can play. And um, most importantly, it's about connecting and uplifting. So that's what it's about. It, the website is make some noise 2022.com. Easy register. If you, if you can't make the whole thing, you'll catch the recording. And we're still figuring out all the technical stuff. This is my first official online summit. Thanks to David Kirsten asking me that powerful question. And I'm so, I'm so jazzed about it. And I, there's a lot getting figured out um, to, to make this day as smooth as possible. And it's going to go really quick. Three hours is going to be like, and then, um, <laughs> and then I'll have a big party for myself afterwards. <laughs> so Thank you, David, for asking the, the question. And thank you, Gail, for saying yes. You asked me some very important questions to have your yes be on board for this. Like, it may, you made me think a bunch about what I wanted to, to make sure were the ingredients of my talk and my, and my presentation and, and who what are the ingredients of this cake we're baking with this summit. So I hope everybody feels included and welcomed and uplifted by our, our experience from that day. And I know just a time check, we have about five more minutes. I did want have a two-part question for Gail, not just on to try to connect her with folks um, about who your ideal client is, Gail, or who you're looking for to connect with out there. And then are you looking for other speaking engagements? And we know you're speaking at the summit. You spoke at one of my previous business events too, but if there's a business group out there or, or what kind of group out there might um look to you to, to, to speak at an event of theirs? Thank you for those questions. Uh, yeah, so we love working with business owners who are creating, it may be their first business, but it's not their first career. 
So it may be their second or third career in life. Uh, they're uh, probably my age or older. So I'm, I'm 46. So in their 40s and, or older and, and in the, this next stage of their life where they really want to focus on what they love to do, what they love want, want to create, but may not have the, the business knowledge or know-how to really get their business going. I have a, a few new clients right now who are, I have one client who is a nurse and is a, a holistic esthetician. And her dream is to have a holistic spa. So we're working with her with her business plan and her growth plan and be able to make that dream a reality. Uh, so those are typically the clients that we have newer in business, but not newer in life. <laughs> and for speaking, I love to speak. So I especially love speaking on podcasts. Corey and I have one as well um, called the Business and Birth the Business and Bourbon Smash podcast with Gail and Corey Knott, uh, which we will be opening up for guests in the next few months. And then I, I love speaking on guests as well. I usually speak about my number one topic that people ask me to speak about is being a mom, especially later in life and how you run your business while having a, a baby or a toddler. Uh, other topics I speak about are message marketing and sales conversations. Great. Yeah, you are great on sales conversations, sales as a service, and the C, something called a CRM too, which is, this is all Lyft stuff, and you can find the, that content in Lyft. I actually have Lyft open right here on my other computer and was um, looking, put for, for the Rising Star collaboration. So, you know, don't hesitate to ask Gail about those subjects and have her speak on them because they're really experts at what they do. And I'd say she's also really a intellectual like Corey too and that they have such a deep understanding of this content because they've lived it for so long and Gail's unique and I would say in that she has more of a, a marketing mind than Corey does Corey's yeah. more of a strict content well, guy but you, you have an idea of how to market it too so uh, we were talking about the themes for your summit earlier which I think is so great Erica how you based it on that Alicia Keys song and uh, themes and the feeling of it is so powerful. So I, I'm going to have to listen to that song. I love that. Yeah. It's actually a radio. It's a whole radio podcast in itself, a beautiful noise. And you'll hear like, you know, some of the great singing and uplifting. So yeah. Excellent. Well, I think we're going to end it there today. Did you have any closing comments or a pitch for anything that you're looking for, for the, the summit still, and we can end it, end it with that. We'd love to have a hundred people participate and please come on over and register. You'll catch the recordings. You'll get to hear about the uh, nonprofit. We're going to support Missy, which supports uh, uh, women who've been hu human trafficked, getting out of that um, here in the Bay area, Oakland. Uh, Missy is spelled with two, three S's. And we have the executive director that will be one of the speakers also. So I hope you reach out, ask us questions and connect. Awesome. Well, good work, guys. Well, and thanks, Gail, for coming on. We'll definitely have you back as we get further along in, um, in yeah. the, you know, probably. We'll, we'll book her now for then because yeah. she's a busy woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, We'll, uh, Dave and Erica and Gail signing off for the ripple effect. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week for the, uh, yeah, see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye.